Hey guys, welcome to Diecast Reviews. Subject of review, I'm Vanden Care here, who appeared in the Cotter Pin series, who appeared in Cars 3 and was released in the Cotter Pin series. Blister's about to come off, so. This taped, actually. Maybe not, but the blister's all damaged. Like, look at that. Yeah, I, this is apparently. Mm, I think this came from Amazon. Based on that sticker, perhaps it did a very bad job of shipping it. I mean, yeah, it does not look very good. Yeah. And yeah, there's the Cotter Pin cars, obviously, there's Van Den Care, the blurred background. It's a nice uh, picture from I do like that picture of Van Den. Back, you've got the Cotter Pin, the big logo. And we've already got the logo here. Why not put like one of these guys in the Cotter Pin? Put them. Uh, on the background, whatever. These always are usually pretty bad. Friends of the late, great, fabulous Hudson Hornet gather at the Cotterpin. There you've got Jenny uh, Toland. There you can see that's her. Bill Revs, who I don't think I've ever reviewed. Andrew Vrooman and Smokey. I do have them out of the package, but I don't think I've ever reviewed them. I obviously reviewed those two. But um, let's get Band and Care out of this very brutal packaging that's actually taped. Like, Right there, I think you can see it right there. It's taped, which makes no sense as to why it would be taped. Yeah, you can kind of see like the tape right there. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand why it's taped. Well, I understand why it's taped because the packaging is so bad they had to tape it so it wouldn't like fall apart or anything. But uh, yeah, Amazon usually. Well, that was me not handling the car very well, but Amazon usually uh usually ships poorly like usually their shipping quality is pretty poor anyways let's get out of the review of hand care enough talking about amazon and mishandling cars shall we i do really like the green paint job on him it's like this forest green but with almost like a spectra flame paint job it's a very nice paint job on him this forest green color i really do like it i really love his expression as well like he's looking over to his right see his right and he looks very relaxed, very happy. I really do like the expression. There you can see his brown eyes. And that is an insert. Obviously, it is a Thailand casting. And there you can see his mouth on his bumper there. He looks pretty happy. There's the grill. Looks pretty cool. There are the lights. And there's some dirt here on the uh, bumper. Looks pretty nice detail there. You've got some markings on the roof. Probably from like erosion and stuff. Same thing here with Jenny. Toland, oh, I was very bad focusing. Put that there, you can see the same here for her. Maybe got some markings. Very interesting. But look, do look pretty cool. I like the detail on them. You can see on the hood a little bit, a lot on the roof and towards the rear here on the uh, uh, trunk. If we go towards the side, you've got some dirt, it looks like, up here. On the, right there, you can see some dirt along the side of the car. I really do like the ribs, actually, they look very cool. The wheels kind of look small for Mandon, but. See some green, there's the dirt, there's the uh, rear view mirrors, which is pretty cool. And they're not, like, metal pieces, like, I, uh, Hold on, here. let me grab like, this guy. See how their chuck manifolds are part of the body? These are plastic inserts. You can see the uh, silver trim around the windows there. You can see the, where you would open the doors. And then you've got this piece back here, two sides, which we'll get to that in a sec, which are blue, but there are the rims again. On the back, you've got the bumper, which is also dirty, just like the front. Tail lights and license plate that says B12-18B. There's the trunk again with the erosion and all that. There's the roof. Looks very nice. Like the detail. And there's the base. If you want a quick look at it. M10. So 10th week of... That'd be, I think that'll be 2018. Uh, no, 2019. 2019. 2019. And uh, if we go into the 
back here. It looks like he's gotten into an accident or something, and he had to replace this part from right there where you can see the line. He had to replace it with this blue piece, which would make sense on one side, but then you got him on two sides. I mean, is it really, you know, did he really get hit in the same spot both two times, like two twice? He got hit once on the left, once on the right. And he had to replace it both with exactly the same color of blue panels. Yeah, it could have happened, but that's a very low prob possibility of that happening. Uh, Mattel was probably, or Disney, I'm not sure. Whoever made the decision to make the sides blue. Kind of seeing blue back there. Probably just wanted to add some detail in, but in my opinion, if this was, I don't know if we ever saw both sides of him in the movie. I'll have to look at the pictures when I put them up on the screen. Um, Disney... I don't know what they were doing if they did, if they, if the, if it was them, if it was Pixar, who, or if it was Mattel, who only saw one side and was like, oh, let's paint the other side blue. Well, then that's on Mattel. But, um, I don't really know. Um, but yeah, it is blue, so it is a nice detail. But usually we see it on cars, and it's only like a door that's a different color, or just a hood or a different color. We don't see it usually on both sides. Same place, same color. see some dirt on that side and here on the other side yeah, I really do like the rims the rims are, are really cool on Vanden so that is Vanden carry I me mean, he looks awesome I really do like him let's uh, let's compare him to some other cars here let's get this out of the way let's compare him to some other sedans I mean he's he's like your classic like 80s or 90s sedan like two doors boxy Classic sedan. I remember the 80s and 90s. Let's compare them to some cars here. I brought out a bunch. I could have brought out more, but I would have brought out like, uh, I could have brought out more sedans. Mattel makes a lot of sedans on the cars line, but I only brought out eight. I'll show the two that are pretty not similar. Here's Milo, who he's like a weird car because he gets thinner in the front. If you go from the back, he gets thinner. Very interesting. But uh, he is technically a sedan. Two doors there. The back, I mean, the back kind of looks similar. But the front, you can just, well, he gets, yeah. I don't know why. He kind of looks like a triangle. But uh, there's Milo. Here is Rusty Rusty. Well, I, think, I guess technically he's two doors, so he's more of a coupe. But he had the same boxy type shape almost. So. I decided to bring him out. But really, I mean, they're, they're both green. I'll give him that. Also, Milo's green. But he's more of a different shade of green. That's uh, Rusty. Let's move on to Chuck Manifold and Skip Richter here. Let's go with Skip first. He's more different. He's very small, Skip is. He has two doors, but he, look how small he is compared to Van. Yeah, that's pretty small. Really not many similarities. I'm kind of surprised Skip is this small. Like, yeah, he's pretty small. Uh, here's Chuck Manifold. He looks kind of similar. I do like Chuck. He's kind of like, you know, just a classic, classic car. Plain. Pretty cool. But he is also a sedan. Also kind of a boxy car. But he's also pretty small compared to Van. And not as small as Skip, but he's definitely way shorter. Here is Jesse Hollander. He's actually also a little bit short, shorter than Vanden. If we put them like that. Move up a little bit. Yeah, he's a little bit shorter than Vanden there, which is kind of interesting. Vanden seems pretty, pretty long. But uh, yeah, also a sedan, but not very similar. Well, pretty similar, but not quite as some other cars I have here. Here is a uh, Jan Tan sedan, who also appeared at the Tower Pin. Also shorter than Vanden there. I would say, yeah, I think she's more similar than Chuck because the hood looks kind of similar. The rear looks kind of similar. And I feel like she's more similar than Chuck. But here we have the last two who, Michael Sparkberg and Brand Brad Windmiller. Who he's kind of like a mix between the two almost. 
Let's uh, start with Brad Windmiller here first. If you can see Brad Windmiller right there, he's got the dent. Zoom in there. Uh, focus. There is Brand Windmiller. Brand Brad Windmiller. He's got a dent there. Van Dent does not. So that's like you know, one big thing. Is because if they're gonna reuse the same mold, they're gonna keep the dent in there. You can see just the differences. If we look at the base, bases, kind of see the different bases where this is like more compact. This is more spread out. Now you have this exhaust pipe come out the same side, but it looks a little bit different. And usually if they're going to use the same model, it's going to have the same base. So you can see the base is definitely different. But also, if you just look, Brad seems a little bit like chunkier in the back, thicker in the back. I'm not sure exactly what would be the right word, though. You can definitely see the difference there. You put them side by side. You can definitely see that they're not the same model. And here is Michael Sparkler, who is not the same model as Brad Windmiller. Although, it was originally thought uh, they were released in 2016, so it made sense for them to be the same model. Also, look, Michael has a dent, and Brad also has a dent, which is very, very interesting. Um, but they're not the same model. Brad is smaller. And Michael is bigger than Vanden, so Vanden's kind of like a mix between Brad and Michael. But uh, you can definitely see the comparison there. They're not the same car, but they are pretty similar. So yeah, let's give a Vanden Hero ride on the turntable. And I'll put up some pictures of where he appeared in the movie right there. Uh, and the cotter pin, obviously. And uh, yeah, that should do it for my review on Band and Kerr. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, subscribe, and share the video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.